or the brake pedal position let's see okay so we're gonna hit the uh, f3 and this is the pedals right no pedals it means actually using pedals i didn't press it now i'm gonna press the acc accelerator right watch watch i'm touching the accelerator and it's showing right now and the percentage hey guys mike is back with another very interesting product every single car guy or the car enthusiast and every single man has to own this kind of tool in your garage i'm gonna tell, tell you why and i'm gonna show you how it works all the performance stuff foxwell obd reader it's not the, just the obd reader this is like a serious serious computer right so when you receive it's gonna be a really nice case this is a mechanic level or a pro level uh, obd sensor reader when you open the obd of course you're gonna open the right side i was using this but i'm gonna show you what this comes inside so you have a cable you have a usb uh, the flash drive and you have a usb to micro usb uh, the cable you have a tons of owner's manuals warranty paper and then other uh, have to up you know have to upgrade new versions uh, for for this unit all right we're gonna take to the vehicle we're gonna add we're gonna connect we're gonna see what is inside before we doing that i'm gonna just show you i want to tell you just about this uh product right uh build quality fit and finish it's really nice uh and this is the solidly built uh you, you can drop it you can use on your shop um reason why i get this uh the driver you, you can say hey mike you can buy the tons of you know bluetooth uh, obd reader uh from from internet right from amazon you can get the with small one for 15 dollars or whatever it's like a cheap cheap ones uh the, why you should get this kind of a uh, unit uh, reason why you're gonna get this kind of unit uh, if you have an expensive car if you have a, any you know the higher end vehicles if you have any cheap vehicles if you have any vehicles you're working on uh this unit's gonna give you every single details every single sensors at the live view like it's gonna be mind-blowing uh, stuff on the future right now so i'm gonna show you right uh and the second one uh, the, on, on the Bluetooth uh, devices, you, you cannot clear the codes. You cannot reset uh, your values on the on the vehicle. So let's take a look to the vehicle. You have to buy this product before <laughs> before it sold out. And now the 2021, like th this kind of computers back in the days when when I worked on the, on my vehicle, it was impossible to find something when i did a lot of customization on my subaru it's a back to story time right on my subaru uh it was the one it, uh, the engine code popped up so uh when i connect my bluetooth device from my phone uh, it was showing that the turbo failure is a hundred percent like a three codes it was a turbo failure i drive to the dealership i pay 100 i believe 145 dollars for diagnostics and they told me you have to replace a turbo and i had the code like 850 dollars plus if you were you have to replace the tubes you have to so on so on it's like a thousand dollar work on it so a friend of mine has similar one of the expensive version of these computers right i went to to them and he's he scanned it and he told me you need to replace uh solenoid uh time timing camshaft uh the sensor right it was on the left side timing camshaft sensor if you have a, a subaru uh, your turbo is not smoking, not blue, not uh, black. Uh, smoke is coming out from your vehicle, right? It's kind of this kind of c scenarios, right? When the dealer wants to rip off you for the certain uh, sensor because they don't know how to use this kind of tools, right? So on this tool, you can see, you can see even the the wiper blades position. It's not the wiper blade speed is working right now on and off. You can see wiper blade position, uh, your throttle bodies, your uh, brakes, your brake lights, your air compression is how long it's your your uh, the, the vehicle is stands. It is the pumps up like the full pressure or not pumping up the pressure like crazy. Let, let, let's take a look at those videos and I'm, I'll be back. All right, guys, it's gonna be a little a long video, but uh, it is worth it to watch it, right? So. Foxwell the unit I just connected it's gonna be your main uh, the screen so from here you're gonna have a lot of options I'm gonna show you the couple of them so it's 
uh, this is next level stuff so this is a regular this is navigator right a regular obd reader so when you go to obd you can just read all the the protocols right uh, what it's uh, failed uh, if you have uh, some engine codes you see it says uh, code zero it's found uh, other one is like eight of them so you can go ahead and check what is going on there bro so uh, let's take the interest in uh, the place so the maintenance if you have an expensive car and really you uh, enjoy your vehicle you like your vehicle definitely go to maintenance page and you can reset every time when you change the oil so it's gonna be like 100% it's gonna go down or you, with your braking system also like I'm not gonna go to details here because we have to cover a lot so um, here it's gonna be the data management so you can up, uh, update this uh, data as I said before you can just connect it every year if it's the, the you you driving the last year model for example 2022 uh, it's gonna be here if no you can just uh, connect to internet and download the all the codes now the diagnostics right we're gonna go to diagnostics and this is the, all the countries it's um, the covers so Asia China Europe uh, all the BMWs Mercedes uh, the Euro European car is gonna be here uh, American car it's gonna be here so we're gonna go to America did the post so in American cars we have uh, the most uh, Chrysler Ford and GM of course you can update and you can get uh, the more vehicles loaded here so we're gonna go to Ford now all right so it's gonna be smart win or the manual selection so also it's gonna be a lot of on uh, the inside a lot of details uh, let me focus on this yeah so we're gonna go to now for smart then it will be pull up it's see the pull up the same vehicle it's, it's gonna be 2020 uh, the model year if you don't touch you should okay uh, 2020 model year and 2020 uh, 2019 model this right this is a 2020 so it's gonna connect uh, this is says uh, 2020 model years a Ford fusion hybrid plug-in yes it's exactly the vehicle two liter gas engine so we have a quick scan uh, control module and the vehicle profile right so here is it's going to be control model it's going to be quick uh the, the vehicle information so it's going to be gasoline two liter engine plug-in hybrid uh, automatic and uh, this is the vin number you, if you guys want to steal my vin number and all the stuff the basic basic information controlled module right uh let's go to quick scan so it's quickly scanned like a three version it's all the past no faults um and le let's take a look at the pcm power control module right ecu information read codes the clear codes and live data this is the crazy start uh, the crazy part it's starting right uh, you guys are gonna be surprised how much uh, sensors your vehicle has so uh you you can wait like in, there is not much uh the sensors you can think right but look at the sensors it's really it. so this is tiny on the corner it moves down right and all these uh, sensors it's like uh it's reading so absolute load value absolute throttle position so let's see acceleration position the pedal right for example your pedal is not working very well so i added so i'm gonna add the couple sensors all right uh what we have uh fuel table source one air conditioning air condition temperature Let, let's add this one Oh, air condition pressure axle ratio so axle ratio status on the center vehicle configuration <laughs> who needs that much the barometer pressure okay let, let, let's let, let's read what else what else what else you see i want to read the camshaft command that tra uh, throttle actuator control it's for oxygen sensors oxygen sensor bank one bank two we're gonna add this uh, coolant flow what about the brake cylinder a uh, what about the brake uh, okay, oh the brake pedal position let's see okay so we're gonna hit the uh, f3 and this is the pedals right no pedals it means actually using pedals I didn't press it now I'm gonna press the acce accelerator right watch watch I'm touching the accelerator and it's showing right now and the percentage uh, 
at engine starts you see the percentage is going up ambient air temperature it's it's also in the celsius it's showing like and the brake pedal is off right watch i'm gonna touch the brake pedal its brake pedal is on so you can read every single details okay let's save this right uh let's stop it and i i, I can export that be, because i'm I'm running this kind of test, right? I can export on the, the, the file. Uh, I can save it all this in the, in the file, and later on, I can see which sensor is not working, right? This thing is like next level, guys. Just be curious. I'm in the on the C now. On, I'm in the beginning. So, on this little vehicle, I have uh, so much sensors, and everything works. For example, I have automatic shifters, right, right here. Automatic shifters. I can find each shifter with well, the button it's how the it works this is automatic brakes right right here these every single buttons if they're pressed or not if pressed or not i can find out here on the details so i'm gonna go to i'm not gonna go to details but this is one part of this unit like a small part of the unit right if you have any kind of engine code look look at this engine cranking right Okay, this is not interesting. Engine coolant temperature voltage. Do you want it that? Let's take a look what what's going on there. <laughs> coolant temperature voltage 1.7. Uh, if I start the engine, if I hit the gas, it's in the engine start. So you can read that that too. So what else? What else? What you guys can see here? Uh, engine runtime. So when you're buying the selling the cars, you can see if you're buying the cop car, so engine runtime it's gonna be like uh, the actual it's exactly runtime right now, and you have engine runtime is total. So a lot of um, a lot of cop cars has a lot of runtime engine, right? Or the people sitting in the in the some areas they're gonna have a huge engine runtime. So so can I start vehicle speed at the time of a misfire? <laughs> so if you have a misfire code it's gonna show you what time uh, what engine speed it was the when is the, the miss misfire right uh, vehicle speed uh, let, let's add this couple vehicle control mode guys I'm telling you did this thing is like crazy this is tra transmission range three transmission okay Let's see what is that. I don't. I, I don't know either. What is that? Vehicle speed. It's zero. Transmission is park. Transmission is neutral reverse. You see that? How is the change, right? Transmission is a neutral. If you have a transmission on the drive, I like this. While I'm using, I'm going through all these. You know, uh, all these pace, uh, all these data. I'm like, this. This, this thing is crazy, man. So conclusion, uh, what I want to say, every single dealership has to own this. Every single car guy has to own one of these. This is the huge, this is the very powerful tool to use it, right, on the vehicles. If you're doing any customization on your vehicle, if you like your vehicle, you have to, this is this thing is cheap, whatever they're doing, right? You're going to save a lot of money, a lot of time, and you can do a lot of stuff. In my opinion, yeah, as I say, every single dealership's mechanic has to go to certified from this unit and they have to use it. They will save tons of time uh, and it's going to be amazing customer service if they know how to use this kind of stuff, right? This kind of tools. It's now as a 2021 available on Amazon. Uh, back in the days, you have, you have to no idea how to test this kind of stuff. But today, uh, you know computers everything is now uh, you see Alfa Romeo BMW Bugatti even Bugatti yeah Lamborghinis Mini Cooper Land Rovers uh, Ford U Citroen so on so on so yeah that's it uh, this is my review this is 100% no this is 500% worth the money you have to get one of these and enjoy your life uh, with the talking with the scene with the, your vehicle uh, like you're feeling your vehicle in and out I'm out I'm gonna do next video very soon